but there's a there's an absolutely beautiful rainbow behind me I don't know if you can see that uh, yeah you see the rainbow just there that's the rainbow look amazing never had a country like it there's all so many rainbows in Ireland so many pots of gold <laughs> so uh, anyway I hope everyone's doing well um, you're joining me again this morning I'm about two two k into my walk, um, and I've just got a, a little bit of a treat, like I did in the last video for you. Not as good, um, but something closer to home. Uh, again, apologies for the wind in up the my voice. I'll try and speak as loud as I can. Um, but part of the walk uh, takes me to. Um, I think it's to keep the, uh, there's, a, there's a gate here, which obviously I've just walked on. But here we are, this is a nice little place where you can have a walk, a bit of a rest, and then maybe say a prayer. So Virgin Mary's here, look. So it is a, it is Sunday afternoon, so today. There used to be a wishing well here. Um, it was literally down there. But as you can see there's no water in there anymore. Um, there is actually some money in there. Now I can see, oh god, there's quite a bit. There's a, there's a euro coin there, five cent. A lot of tens, and uh, obviously that will stay there because they're obviously people's wishes. Um, but it's a nice little, um, it's a nice little sort of NT walk. Um, obviously, it's quite spiritual, spiritual, spiritual. Can't even say the word. Oh, but uh, I just thought I'd show you that. Um, again, I'm in Joe's Field, so anybody familiar with Tullamore, anybody familiar with Ireland, especially out in the country, um, every year they have the National Plowing Championships. And I think last year was the only year in, I think, three, maybe four, that it wasn't held here and these are the fields so I don't know if you can see that but it, it goes on for ages um, and obviously the guy that owns the field he um, he lets them use the uh, the grounds for the national plowing championships I've been to them twice uh, never really thought that was my cup of tea until I came here it's absolutely brilliant uh, the beer tents are brilliant <laughs> there's a fun fair but it is what it is it's the National Plowing Championship so there's tons and tons and tons of uh, stalls here um, obviously that's changed uh, obviously Covid uh, and I think Joe the guy who owns the fields uh, he wouldn't be, sh be short of you Bob for um, renting out the land. Uh, it goes on for, I think, three days, three or four days. And obviously they're here for quite a while because they're setting up. So it's an absolutely amazing thing. So I, think, I think last year it was in Carlo. Well, it should have been, but it was cancelled. The year before that was in Carlo. I think that was here. So a really good experience if you've had a chance. I'll put the camera this side because the sun obviously is coming in that way so um, 
I tried to drag the dog out this morning, but she wasn't having it. So she was pretty much like, no, I'm not coming out. <laughs> but it's actually quite nice. I mean, I think it's around about eight degrees, which for February is a very good, a very nice time. Very nice and warm. Apologies, I'm just making sure there's no trip hazards in front of me. Um, this part of my walk, um, there's a lot of digging going on, so you can see there's machinery, art machinery. They're obviously tired. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a nice place to come. Uh, but anyway, look, I was just checking with everybody, making sure everybody's okay. Hopefully everybody's out there doing their walks, keeping themselves mentally focused. Um, had an announcement there from the T-Shock. Well, hopefully schools will start to be opening from March the 1st, so there'll be a slow rollout, so that'll be good. Um, I can see a lot of news over in the UK there that you're having so many um, vaccinations done. Um, I think we're, we're now into maybe the, the probably the third phase where the most vulnerable, so the older people in, in care homes and their workers, obviously care workers, um, have had their jabs and the GPs have had theirs now I believe. So the next phase will be for I believe 70 year olds. I'm not really quite sure but obviously you guys in the UK are a lot lot further ahead than we are. Uh, although I know over here we're doing the uh, the jab with the two vaccinations as opposed to the one. There's a bit of controversy around which one's good, which one isn't. Uh, but I'm sure they're all as good as each other. But anyway, I hope everybody's fine. I hope everyone's happy. This is probably the longest video I've ever done for a long time. But I'll leave you with this. 